Connect a power adapter to base. The first battery light flashes several times to indicate the power is connected. Place the headset on the cradle of the base. The two magnets on the left and right sides of the headset and base cradle help to ensure that the three metal pins are in good contact. If the headset is placed correctly, the first battery light on the base will blink. When the battery of the headset is fully charged, the battery light on the base stays on continuously. To separate the headset from the headband, align the microphone boom of the headset with the headband. The gray color part of the air hook contains wires, so bend it align with the shape of the ear. Please understand that ear hooks are not 100% satisfactory because every person has different ear sizes and shapes. To install it, you need an EHS cord with 5 metal pins and a telephone cord in a vinyl bag inside the box. Connect 5 metal pins to the EHS jack on the bottom ports of your desk phone. Connect the other end plug to the aux port on the base. Connect a telephone cord to the jack with the headset mark on your desk phone. Connect the other end to the middle port of the base. Two cabling done. Now set the headset mode on the desk phone. Enter menu. Click settings. Basic. Preference. Headset. Hook switch mode. Click job or EHS. Yes, then it phone will reboot. It takes a time. After the desk phone has rebooted, lift the headset or pressing the call button on the headset will turn on the second light on the base and the headset button on the desk phone. A dial tone will be heard from the headset. If both lights are not on or you do not hear a dial tone, replace the desk phone and try to set up. If you hear echo or static noise, please enable echo cancellation on the desk phone. Static noise is electromagnetic interference by surrounding electronics. Place the source of noise far away.